All right, so you did the green smoothie challenge. I did. How long did you do it? Four days. Okay, and why did you do it? Did you have some goals? Yes. I wanted to uh, give my body a chance to detox. Okay. Did you have some good results? I did. Cool. Um, I was really surprised. Um, uh, probably the biggest thing that surprised me was the weight loss. Um, lost seven pounds in four days. <laughs> wow. Um, I had a lot of energy. Um, I just felt good. Okay. Good. So would you do it again? Yes. What was your least favorite part about doing it? Did you have? Uh, I'd say um, making dinner for my family when I was on the smoothie. Did you ever have a time where you didn't feel good or it was uh, hard? I'd Did say, hard? well, the first day I was really excited to get started. and Probably about right after lunch, I had a little slump. Where I was like, no, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> um, Which is so normal. Right. I think once I got past the afternoon, I realized this can be okay. Um, and I took your advice and I snacked on some crunchies, carrots and okay. broccoli, stuff like that. Because um, I'm one of those people that needs a crunch yeah. to my diet. Right. You want to chew. Right. Yeah. So, how was your energy level? Um, it was uh, it was pretty good. I think day was it day three? Day three, I definitely had more energy than the previous two days, day one and two. And I I noticed that because um, uh, I typically work out on a compu trainer oh, right. bike. Okay. And um, I on day three, I was actually able to have a higher performance level. Wow. than I would had for probably a few weeks. All right, so you took the green smoothie challenge. I did. Completed almost 10 days. On the 10th day, I had dinner that night. So how hard was it to do 10 days? In the end, looking back, um, it wasn't unbearable. But in the moment, particularly when you kind of hit day three to day five, you think to yourself, what the heck am I doing? Because then your body's going through like this metamorphosis, right? You know, because you're losing fat. You know, I lost a tremendous amount of weight in a short period of time. Can you but tell us how much? I lost 15 pounds. In um, nine days, In right? nine days. I don't have that lag in the afternoon. I used to get so dog tired in the afternoon. From 3 or 2.30 to about 4, I would just be dragging. And so I used to always have a temptation to go go get a coffee or go get a double shot of something. And um, just to get through that afternoon period, that's gone. And now we're just motoring through it. So it's fantastic. That's great. So what was your favorite part about doing the challenge? Favorite part? Probably seeing the results. Looking at myself in the mirror and going, wow, I look thinner. You know, and, and I was totally out of control. So I was at the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. You know, I'm strapped to a desk every day, um, you know, working with the kids at night and just not making time to get to the gym. I cannot believe the results in such a short period of time as far as what I look like when I look at myself in the mirror and then when I step on the scale. So that's amazing. And then getting the positive reinforcement. And then there's a the confidence that comes with that too. So um, you're just more effective in every, you know, avenue of your life. And then you like the taste. I like you the taste. I like the taste, and I like the energy. And now I go racing around my little peninsula, not racing, but you know, <laughs> I'm I'm walking, and I'm not feeling so creaky, and my muscles don't hurt. I truly, Maria, I'm I'm feeling like a young girl, and yeah. you know, I all but gave up after Dad died, and except for sprints when you kids came to visit, in between was pretty rough going. Yeah. So to have something that I can eat. And it just sort of just happened that made me feel better. And as I felt better, I started making better choices. And then I realized that, you know, this is, this is a real grateful existence, a beautiful life. And I have an awful lot to live for. And I feel like um, at my age, I could live a long, long time now where I was about ready to throw in the towel. I just, you know, I just felt puny. And so I live puny. I mean, that's the bottom line. Right. And I don't think that that's so unreal from a lot of people. Mm -hmm.